Ciao, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's recipe video, we are doing a Mediterranean diet meal prep. These are all very perfect recipes for all year round, but especially right now when it's that transition from summer to fall. And just like all my recipe videos, especially my meal prep recipe videos, I always include at least one, if not a few sauce ideas. I think sauces are crucial to your cooking, to creating such flavorful, different variations of meals. So for this recipe video, I'm highlighting two extra virgin olive oil based sauces. Extra virgin olive oil is the most important pantry staple you can have in your pantry. It is a crucial ingredient to the Mediterranean diet. That's why I call it liquid gold all the time. Some really important things. Extra virgin olive oil. Do not buy any bottles that just say olive oil. You want to get extra virgin olive oil. That is considered the highest quality. Make sure it is in a dark bottle. Maybe every once in a while you'll see little tiny clear bottles to be used in the kitchen. That's assuming you're going to be using it very quickly. But if you're storing olive oil in the pantry, if you're having olive oil for weeks or months, make sure it is in a dark, dark bottles. Check the harvest date. You want fresh olive oil. Being Italian and having my own vineyard in my family, I am not biased to just Italian olive oil. I think every origin, every country has delicious olive oil. It is so important that no matter where you get your olive oil from, that it is single origin. You do not want blended olive oils. You do not want an extra virgin olive oil that comes from different regions that's going to water it down, that's low quality. Make sure it's cold pressed. You do not want refined oils. That means they've been treated with heat, lost a lot of polyphenols. Polyphenols are one of the most important things that we get from extra virgin olive oil. So you want an abundant amount of polyphenols in your extra virgin olive oil. So in today's recipe video, I'm going to be featuring for all the recipes today, this incredible high quality olive oil from Mina. Mina is one of my favorite companies ever. They do incredible Moroccan slash Mediterranean diet ingredients so, so well. The last really important thing to note when you're cooking with olive oil is it has a smoke point, which if we want to keep this incredible olive oil that we have now purchased and have in our pantry really, really high quality, know that the smoke point is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. If you go above 410 with olive oil, it's going to burn and totally diminish all of the amazing antioxidants and powerful nutrients that are within olive oil as well as the flavor itself. So it actually becomes toxic if you burn it. So starting off with the first sauce in today's recipe video is the chermoula. Almost every country uses up an abundant amount of herbs with liquid gold to make their version of a green sauce. So today I'm choosing to do a traditional North African green sauce with lots of herbs, garlic, lots of warm, cozy spices, incredible for the fall time. I'm gonna brush it on some delicious eggplant, roast the eggplant and top it with a delicious couscous and lentil salad loaded with another sauce that I wanna feature today, which is a date vinaigrette. At the end of the video, I'm also going to show you the countless variations of ways to do just use these two sauces, the eggplant and the lentil couscous salad in four or five different ways. So enough talking, let's go ahead and hop into this Mediterranean diet meal prep. We're gonna start off with making the chamula. I have some things prepped, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it all in. It is a North African sauce with lots and lots of herbs. It's a green sauce. I have one cup here of some parsley, and I'm gonna go ahead and add into the food processor and another cup of cilantro. It's totally okay if obviously some stems remain because it's gonna be all blended up, but you really just want the leaves themselves and just add that in oh it smells so so good if you hate cilantro and you think it tastes like soap use all parsley next are the spices i'm going to do coriander i'm going to do a whole tablespoon along with the coriander i'm going to add some cumin you'll probably see that i use cumin and coriander on a ton, a ton of recipes. I think the smoked paprika is really, really nice. It's my favorite, but if you have sweet paprika or just regular paprika, anything will do. So I'm gonna go in with a teaspoon. And then lastly, a half a teaspoon of a little bit of kick, my favorite kick of all Aleppo pepper flakes. But if you have chili flakes, that's totally fine. A little pinch of cayenne, any little kind of kick of heat. I don't even like anything spicy, but it just adds to the layers of flavor going on in the sauce. Next, we're going to work on the garlic. I'm only going to add one large garlic clove. Most people, most recipes, 
two up to like four garlic cloves would be added. All right, I'll add two small ones. How about two like medium small ones because that's what I just popped out of here. I am not a huge garlicky person. Like I love garlic and I understand the flavor that it adds, but I don't want to burp up garlic all day. Just smash them down because you just need to get that peel off and then they will blend so easily in the food processor. And last but not least, if you have a lime on hand, that would actually be super delicious in this too. I'm gonna do the whole thing. I hate wasting a delicious lemon with all its zest, so I'm gonna add all the zest and all the juice. The reason I gave it a big roll before I went to uh, zest it is that really, really helps release so many juices when you go to cut it in half and squeeze it. It's kind of giving it like almost like a little warm up to being <laughs> squeezed and now I'm gonna cut the lemon in half. I just like to use my fingers to catch the seeds and just use my strength to get it on in there. But a lemon squeezer also works really well. And then the last thing I need to add is a good amount of salt. Salt has been added. I'm gonna go ahead and hook the food processor up and get it going and on very low while it's spinning, slowly pour in about a half a cup of the incredible extra virgin olive oil. I have the gorgeous chamula ready to go prepped. So I'm gonna work on now roasting the vegetables. I love roasted vegetables and I love eggplant. I feel like if you don't love vegetables, try roasting them. They get caramelized, sometimes crispy on the edges and they just become the best, most flavorful texture and all the above. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop off the tops. This is seen a lot in the Mediterranean as a way to prepare eggplant. It's so easy, you just cut it in half on a diagonal go ahead and score it but don't cut all the way to the edge so kind of start a few centimeters already in and take a line down and stop before you get to the skin and try to go as deep as you can without getting to the skin because we want to keep them pretty intact what we're doing by diagonally scoring the eggplant like this is we're gonna open it up so that this chermula sauce can go deep within the eggplant and help get it nice and roasted and super flavorful in every single bite. So that's what it looks like just going one way. So now all you do is go literally the opposite. I am no professional at this. Looks just like this, how beautiful. So it's nice and scored. So I'm gonna do it to this half and then this eggplant as well and then I'm gonna pour the chamula sauce all over it and get it on a roasting tray. I have doused the eggplant in the gorgeous chamula sauce. I made sure to pull it apart ever so slightly and really get in the crevices because that's the whole point of scoring it that way to make those crevices for that incredible sauce. So I have them flesh side down, skin side up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven at 400. You could also grill these. They would take about six or eight minutes on each side. Bringing out the food processor again for this incredible dressing. There's a bunch of varieties of dates, but for the two most popular ones, there's majol and then there's also deglet dates. Majol are super soft and caramelly and they make a great like blendable consistency. I use dates a lot for sweet things, but I love savory sweet. You see so many of my recipes are savory sweet. So I have two majol dates that I split in half and took out the pit. Mm. You take the majol date and you soak it in water. Sorry. Oh, dates are so good. I'm gonna go ahead and drain off the water. You wanna peel the skin off of the date as well. Drop the dates in the blender. Next for this dressing, I'm gonna go in with a whole lime, juiced and zested. I feel like the lime pairs really well with the date. So I'm just gonna grate all of the zest off the lime and juice the entire lime. Just a splash of red wine vinegar. Next, you see me use this 
a bunch. I love this ingredient so much. I know it sounds pretty rare and not easy to find. I recommend going to Whole Foods or you can just search on like Google Maps, Apple Maps, Mediterranean grocery store and you'll find that like a very Middle Eastern style grocery store is closer than you think to you or you can always get it on Amazon online and I'm just going to use a little dash of it. A little bit goes a long way. I love this product so much. It is tangy and fruity, thick and syrupy. It's kind of similar to balsamic but you don't get that vinegar but because i'm using red wine vinegar and this if you just want to substitute with balsamic go right ahead of course a big sprinkle of salt to bring out all the flavors for a little bit of pick and spice i'm gonna do about a half a teaspoon of aleppo pepper flakes and as you can see it's such minimal ingredients i'm gonna go ahead and throw it back on the machine and blend in slowly about a third cup of olive oil pulled the eggplant out of the oven and I'm gonna let them cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a beautiful bowl here and assemble this super easy couscous lentil salad. Grains are incredible for you and legumes are incredible. Two very, very popular things in the Mediterranean diet. I cooked one third cup of dry couscous. I toasted it and cooked it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the bowl along with one third cup of dry lentils that I cooked. I'm gonna take some feta, so I'm just crumbling a couple ounces of feta. I'm gonna tear some beautiful basil. I feel like the basil goes so well with all of the flavors we're seeing here in today's entire recipe video. So I'm just gonna do some nice big tears of, uh, did I say basil? Mint? <laughs> I hope I didn't say basil, of mint. And lastly, the walnuts. I love them, I toasted them. It's super important that you toast your walnuts or whatever nut you decide to use for this recipe. Roasting them brings out all the flavor, adds a nice toasted nuttiness. Now I'm going to look for the brightest of the sad pomegranate aerials. And I thought the pomegranate aerials, even though they are out of season, were gonna be so perfect for this dish because I used that pomegranate molasses in the date dressing. By the time you're seeing this, pomegranates are way more in season. But of course, I had to film this in advance and they weren't in season. The moment of truth, the taste test time. The gorgeous, Juicy, delicious, soft roasted, beautiful eggplant topped with that amazing herbaceous, garlicky, spicy, cozy tremula sauce topped with an incredible couscous lentil salad with a date vinaigrette. Shall we try? This is one of the best vegetarian dishes you'll ever try in your life. I promise you. I love the soft, super soft and well roasted flavorful eggplant the herbs come through the fresh mint the chewiness of the lentils and the couscous the crunch from the pomegranates and the walnuts a nice salty briny feta mm. so many flavors in every single bite but the amount that they all complement each other so 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 well and that was my goal is is to show you guys such simple ingredients can make such incredible dishes and also make variations of dishes. Just by making these two really big dishes, the roasted eggplant and the lentils, you have so many options throughout the week of really fun, more quick and easy, yet so delicious, so satisfying, well-rounded meals. So I'm gonna take another bite of this and I'm gonna show you all those variations. <laughs> the first variation is this eggplant chickpea chamula dip. <laughs> it is absolutely delicious a lot of these variations aren't beautiful but you have to trust me that they taste absolutely delicious i don't know what it is about this recipe video but everything's not super colorful but let me just tell you i know it doesn't look beautiful but it tastes unreal the tremula sauce alone is one of my most favorite sauces yet i have ever made and so i added that in a blender or food processor with chickpeas tahini olive oil a little bit of water and that 
Stitch Egg Plant. It's kind of a marriage between Bapa Ganoush, which is tahini and eggplant as a dip, and hummus, which is chickpeas and tahini as a dip. So I kind of blended them both. I pulled this jar straight from the fridge, so you'll see it's quite thick, but once it comes closer to room temperature, it gets a little bit softer. And I just love my dips, very, very thick, but it all just depends on how much water you want to add. And I, like I said, I know it's not gorgeous, but believe me, it tasted so good. And any way you would use hummus, you could use this dip. So on a sandwich, just snacking with fresh veggies and crackers, like I'm making a meze bowl here with some bread, uh, flatbread and cucumbers, tomatoes, figs, feta. I drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. I top it with some pistachio duca, which I made in a previous recipe video. It is a bunch of spices and sesame seeds and pistachios, and it's just a nice little touch to put on top of it. But like I said, anyways, you would use hummus. So even on flatbreads, you could use it as a pasta sauce. If you like thin it out with some water, add some cheese. Possibilities are endless. I know I'm so repetitive, but this dip was honestly just incredible it's so so flavorful and it's using up so many of the recipes that i made in such different ways so kind of think outside the box get creative but if you love hummus you would love this the second recipe variation is a couscous lentil cake with a chermoula lebne sauce or dip these are absolutely fabulous again not gorgeous but absolutely delicious so with the leftover couscous and lentils which i don't want to get in trouble the israeli couscous is also pronounced petitum i think but it's it has other names than just couscous some people get kind of mad at me for calling it couscous that's what it's labeled on the package here in america but i guess it's not really couscous anyways for these um you take about a cup of the leftover lentil couscous salad with even like the crumbled feta the mint it already dressed so it's already so so flavorful you add in a fourth a cup of flour i used oat flour to keep these gluten free and one egg and then kind of make these little patties really thin because i kind of like them really crispy on each side and you want to make sure you're cooking the egg all the way through and they have so much texture and super super um flavorful because you have that already date dressed um, flavor on them before you go to you know cook them in the pan and then for something really fun to dip them in I added uh, some chermoula extra chermoula sauce with some lebne this is a uh, dairy-free lebne that I really really love to keep this dish both dairy-free and gluten-free but you can use whatever yogurt you love it's basically just a yogurt from the Middle East that's very very popular and it adds just a nice refreshing twist to these really kind of almost meaty couscous lentil cakes and you could put them you can just eat them alone add some veggies on the side you could make a sandwich out of them kind of use them almost as like a burger patty you could eat them for breakfast or lunch or dinner you can kind of like any way you'd kind of eat like a little patty is exactly what these are you could put them on english muffins you could do like so many things with these <laughs> it's just a really fun way to use leftovers and make them a different shape a different texture and just really different so The last variation idea with all the recipes I made in the beginning would be the chermoula as a marinade. I used shrimp, which is one of my favorite proteins to cook because it couldn't be easier to cook shrimp, but you could marinate anything with this chicken, any kind of meats. You could do like anything that you'd want to marinate. It would be so, so, so good as a marinade. And then you could put it on the grill. You could do it in a saute pan. You can cook it in the oven. It just adds like a bunch of flavor to any of your proteins and so i decided to marinate the shrimp with it and i only did about i think 30 minutes or so about 30 minutes to an hour um, it doesn't need too long to marinate this sauce is so 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 flavorful that it doesn't need more than maybe an hour or two to marinate especially with the fresh lemon juice that kind of sometimes can cook protein and make it a little bit tough so you don't want to cook it for or marinate it excuse me for too long but then i just simply did the shrimp in a saute pan because i was too lazy to turn on the grill and it turned out absolutely incredible and then you can take 
take the marinated tremula protein and make so many things whether you want to add it to pastas or grain bowls or i did a salad with that leftover roasted eggplant with some feta with some pistachio duca and then that marinated shrimp and then i used the leftover date dressing to make a salad with everything so i really tried to use up everything but basically just then you have this really delicious marinated protein so those are some really good ideas hopefully that you can use in your cooking and that concludes this Mediterranean diet vegetarian meal prep recipe video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you liked any of the recipes you saw in this video, or if you have any questions at all about the Mediterranean diet or the Mediterranean lifestyle, please leave a comment below. That would mean the absolute world to me. I love talking to you guys in the comments. It makes my day to read your comments. I just cannot thank you enough for your support your support means the absolute world to me so i am so 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 grateful for you guys i cannot express how much i love my little zestful community here that i have i really hope you enjoy it and until next time i hope you create a very very zestful day ciao